In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the Trim and Extend tool. And this, we see here, this model is a truss, and it's a very good example of when you might want to use this tool. I have webs that are trying to meet those cords, and they don't have exact intersection points on my grid. So what I'll do here is I'll use my new tools here on the top. I see I have two icons, one for Trim and one for Extend. So I'm going to use the, the Trim tool here to trim the member. Once I click on that icon, I get a new icon with a blue arrow here, and I'm going to click on the side that I'd like to trim. So this web here, I want to trim back to the cord. So I'm going to click on that top of that web, and then I click on the cord or the element that intersects that that I want to trim it back to. And I can see it trims it back. The tool will remember and keep going, so I'm going to continue to trim as I need. So I can click on the member here, again on the top of that member, and I'm going to trim it back to the member location that I need. I also have an extend tool, so if I see the next tool here is the extend the member, if I click on that, this will help me get these members that are not quite meeting the cord to hit that cord element. So I can click on the portion of the, the member that I want to extend, and I'll also click on the member that I need it to extend it to. I'll, I can do that here for those members. This one's a trim member. But what I'd like to also show you is what happens when you have members that don't quite meet. You can also trim or extend them as well. So what I'll do here is I'm going to delete this member, this cord. I'm going to redraw it as a different member that doesn't quite meet up with our location here. So I'm going to cut it back here. So I can see the projection of this member, this cord on the left side, wouldn't quite meet the projection of the member on the right side. But you can use the tools to meet them in, in the halfway point and keep going from there. So the extend the member, if I click on that member, I'll click on the end of the member that I want to extend. It will then choose the member I want to extend it to. I can see here if I say copy, it's going to choose copy end joint or move the end joint. I'm going to choose to copy the end joint and I'm going to see it's going to snap that all the way to the projection point. I'm going to do the same thing on this right cord, click on that member and then I'm going to extend it and now they meet. I can also continue by continuing these webs all the way up to the cord elements. So I've got an ability to, to adjust extending and cut trimming all members.